On the broadcast tonight, a man gunned down outside a local takeout. Also ahead, a third man linked to the Fox Hill mass shooting appears in court today. And the official Junkanoo results are in. Ahead, the changes to the placement of two major groups. The Bahamas Tonight starts now. Now in HD. ZNS Network presents The Bahamas Tonight. This portion of the news brought to you by BTC Every Day. Good evening, everyone. I'm Keishla Adderley. And I'm Andrew Knowles. Thanks for joining us. Well, there is some breaking news tonight. Police are looking into a, what appears to be another murder. What we know so far is that a bus driver turned up at the Southern Police Station on Market Street with a man inside who was lifeless when he got there. Police are looking into this incident, which they say took place within the last hour. We'll continue to follow this story and bring you more details as they become available. Well, police are said to be following significant leads meantime into the country's latest murder, which claimed the life of a man in the East Street South area yesterday afternoon. Arjuna Noel Ferguson has all the details in tonight's story. A man in his mid-twenties was gunned down on the porch of the Phoenix Chinese restaurant on East Street South late Sunday afternoon. Assistant Police Commissioner responsible for crime Anthony Ferguson explained the police's initial investigation to reporters on the scene. The information that we have, which I would like the public to know, is that uh, uh, two men in a small vehicle pulled up at this location. One came out and shot the victim several times. The victim was reportedly standing with a group of men by the takeout window of the restaurant when he was shot. Relatives of the victim overcome with grief at the scene. Ferguson maintains an intense investigation into this matter is underway. Now photos and videos of the victim after he was shot taking his last breath was plastered on social media sites shortly after the incident occurred. It was reported that the victim was accused of murder, but ACP Ferguson was tight-lipped on whether or not he was known to police. This is a matter that we are actively investigating and we, want, we don't want to um, release any sort of information that would um, compromise this investigation. This East Street murder happened just hours after another man was shot and killed while walking on Moore Avenue in Anglerston Sunday morning. It was reported that two men on motorcycles approached the man and shot him before fleeing the scene. Ferguson noted that preliminary investigations does not suggest that both matters are related. But if you have any information on this latest homicide, you're asked to contact police immediately. Janae Noel Ferguson, ZNES Network News. From the courts, the third man arraigned today in connection with that December 27th mass shooting in Fox Hill that left four people dead and seven others wounded. 22-year-old Justin Williams of 2nd Street, The Grove, was charged before Chief Magistrate Joanne Ferguson Pratt with four counts of murder and seven counts of attempted murder. Williams, who was not required to enter a plea to the charge alleged of being beaten by police while in custody, the Chief Magistrate noted his concern and ordered him to be seen by a physician while at Her Majesty's prison. He will appear back in court along with his co-accused for a voluntary bill of indictment on March 18th. The family of a teen who was stabbed last week say he was accidentally killed while taking a self-defense lesson. They claim he was bullied at school and sought help from a relative in dealing with it. In light of this, Arla Don Davis sat down with a guidance counselor to discuss the various forms of bullying, the findings of a recent study, its impact, and what the programs or what programs are in place to decrease this age-old problem. Children may be afraid to go to school on a particular day if they feel threatened. School bullying is considered one of the most aggressive behaviors committed by students and we're told that the greatest form of bullying is through verbal, physical and electronically, crippling the self-esteem of victims. Head of Guidance Counseling in the Ministry of Education, Zoe Powell, says while there are no statistics to reflect the number of cases, she did reveal the results of a survey conducted on the state of bullying in our schools more than two years ago. We were able to get concrete data when Terence Fountain, he did a study in 2012 and one of the areas that he focused on was bullying and he showed that in <coughs> say in 30 days you will see that about 17.1 percent 
of the cases that he studied. They were bullied. Believe it or not, Powell says there has been an increase in young girls being bullied over young boys in schools. Results revealed that 15.5% of the students admitted to either hitting, kicking, or pushing other children on a daily basis. Females were 15.5% were, were equally as likely as males, which was 15.4% to exhibit such behavior. So to deter this bullying trend, the Ministry of Education has implemented several mentoring programs to not only boost self-esteem, but to instill more positive values within thousands of students. We have the Super Me program that is designed for the primary school that takes 15 minutes every morning that we have seen a positive impact in a particular school where children were bullying each other before. Once they went through the different modules, we now saw kids reaching out and saying, hey, you don't say that to him or her. Or if we don't have lunch before, they may have been teasing the child that, you know, you don't even have lunch. Now the class is saying, hey, none of us will eat until we all have something to eat. So Powell says while bullying does not discriminate, the guidance department in the Ministry of Education will continue to partner with parents and private schools to eradicate the senseless act. LaDawn Davis, ZNS Network News. With crime trends pointing to an increased number of juveniles committing what can be considered adult offenses, a prison official is hoping to see greater emphasis placed on rehabilitation of inmates. Acting Superintendent of Prisons Bernadette Thompson-Murray believes a lot of the nation's crime problems are a reflection of what is happening in society, noting that greater self-awareness and assistance from all facets of, of society can help address some of the challenges. In the meantime, with the prison shifting its attention from punishment to rehabilitation, she says the move to better equip prisoners with skills to be more productive once returned to society is a positive one. Most of the emphasis is placed with the seven inmates who have to re-enter back in society. When persons come on remand, they're here for any number of time, with short time or long time. And the focus of um, courses such as um, technical vocational training of skills can lend much to um, engaging an, an inmate upon their release um, which can be sustainable for themselves job-wise and um, most of all you want to be able to impart upon them where they can be teach trainable skills to help themselves. But still Thompson Murray says to effectively tackle crime greater parental involvement is necessary. We all are responsible for ourselves and to the nation at large. Let us take responsibility for our kids. And um, I think if much is playing upon that, it can lend much to what is happening around society. Be responsible for our kids. Every night at 11 o'clock you hear the, um, the, the, the question asked on ZNS, do you know where your kids are tonight at this time? And if you can safely answer, yes I do, my child is with me in my house, that's a good thing. In our first look at weather satellite picture showing that foul trough right across the northwest Bahamas, it is firing up some showers over the northwestern islands, but outside of our studios just now, it is mostly cloudy, temperature 77 degrees, relative humidity 76%, your winds are light and variable, barometric pressure 1,016.0 millibars, that's 30.00 inches, and it is steady. But stay tuned, temperatures around the family violence, travel and boating forecast is still to come. Well, still ahead, port stenographers get a new contract. And why you may never look at unofficial junk new results the same way again. This portion of the news is brought to you by Lux Men's Warehouse. 